the appearance caregivers in Fano, Te Fano o Te Kura Otawa, Tēnā Koutou Katoa. It is hard to believe it has been nearly two weeks since our big day out at Waikanae Pool. This was a hugely successful day as we came together as a school community to enjoy the late summer, early autumn sun. There was such a great vibe as families gathered, students slid and splashed, and everyone had a great time. Thank you to our parents, caregivers, and wider whānau for coming along to support this event. Thank you also to our teaching and support team for making this happen. Ka mou te wehi. Cyber safety. This week we had Constable Sue Bush from the New Zealand Police talk to our Sunshine Team Tamariki about cyber safety. The online world is something that is well embedded in our lives, so we need to support our children to navigate these sometimes murky waters. A key message for Fano is to make sure that you stay involved in your child's online activities. Make sure that children are visible when they are on a device. Keep devices out of bedrooms. Keep talking to your child about their online activity and encourage them to let you know if things go wrong. Ensure that your child is of the correct age for accessing particular apps, social media platforms and websites. You can find out more information by going to the NetSafe link here. Appointments and leaving school early. Sometimes trying to get an appointment can be challenging and this means you may need to pick your child up early. We understand that this will happen from time to time, but we do ask that you make sure you follow the correct procedures when picking your child up early. One, come to the office first. Do not go down to the classroom. Two, Inform the office staff and sign out your child on VizTab. 3. The office staff will call down to the classroom for your child to come up to the office. 4. Once your child arrives, you can leave with them. If you are returning, you must sign in again on VizTab. We also ask that, out of courtesy, you make sure the classroom teacher knows you have an appointment during school time so they can cater to this if they are working with your child at a particular time of the day. Please do not be offended if the classroom teacher sends you back to the office to follow the above procedures. The reason we do this is to ensure the safety of all our children. Tawa School Spark Awards. At our school assemblies, we celebrate students who have achieved great things or have demonstrated our school values with Spark Awards. Here are all of our lucky recipients over the past three assemblies. There are a lot of awards given for being awesome role models, for showing kindness, for effort, and for a positive attitude. Well done to all our tamariki who have received a Spark Award so far this year. Tawa Kids Doing Great Things Over the weekend, the Porirua Grand Traverse event took place. One of our students, Billy, from Room 5, took on this 9km challenge and completed it in 69 minutes. This is an outstanding achievement. I feel tired just thinking about it. Well done, Billy. This is a reminder that our Easter break is coming up. Tawa School will be closed on Friday the 2nd of April, Monday the 5th of April, Tuesday the 6th of April. Our school will open again on Wednesday the 7th of April. The end of Term 1 is Friday the 16th of April with Term 2 starting on Monday the 3rd of May. We are heading into the last two weeks of the term. Our teachers will be adding reporting posts to Seesaw to share the work your child has done and the things they have accomplished over the term. Please make sure you check these out and provide some feedback to your child on their achievements. Enjoy your Easter break and we'll catch you all next week. And here's a great quote to share with your children. In any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The worst thing you can do is nothing. And that's from Theodore Roosevelt.